Record crowds were turning out to watch Oklahoma State play baseball. This was a critical time for the OSU program. There were five NCAA Division I schools in the area. Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Wichita State, and Oral Roberts. And they were all emphasizing baseball. It was Oklahoma State rising to the top. The 1985 Cowboys were led by Pete Incavilla, who put together the greatest year college baseball had ever seen. His school record 464 batting average paled compared to his other numbers. Incavilla set NCAA single season records with 48 home runs and 143 runs batted in. His 100 career home runs is another NCAA mark and his career slugging percentage of 915 is still in the NCAA record book. In Cavillia was a first round draft choice of the Montreal Expos, the 15th player taken overall. He was traded to Texas and went directly to the major league. Obviously he had a, a, a remarkable year, but more importantly, I think every day he came to the ballpark, he inspired everybody around him. We, we enjoyed watching him play, he was our leader. But he cared and, uh, and loved the people he played with, and he expressed that on the team bus and around the club, and that was never shown to the public. And, and uh, I have great memories of, uh, of Pete Incovia as a great young man. It was not for certain the 1985 Cowboys were as good as 1984. Pitchers Dennis Livingston, Gary Canwisher, John Farrell, and Mike Henneman were gone, four of the finest pitchers to ever compete at Oklahoma State. But the 1985 Cowboys was a disciplined group built around the Sunday school bunch. Well, I had three guys who really were close. Kevin Fowler and Mike Day, uh, Randy Whistler were great friends. And they were the all-American boy in each one of those youngsters and, uh, and deeply disciplined. And, and they gave us great inspiration and leadership all year long. But as a, as a trio, I nicknamed them the Sunday school bunch uh, in a kidding fashion, but more importantly, to let them know that I understood who they were and that I cared about them and that uh, we'd tolerate them. Oklahoma State won yet another Big 8 championship, their fifth in a row. once again hosted a regional. Only Wichita State stood between OSU and a fifth consecutive trip to Omaha. Oklahoma State prevailed 10 to 6. lost to Mississippi State with the likes of future major leaguers Will Clark and Jeff Brantley of the San Francisco Giants, Bobby Thigpen of the Chicago White Sox, and Rafael Palmero of the Texas Rangers. Five, Oklahoma State came back to beat South Carolina. On the ground, over the head of the pitcher, here comes Whistler. at the Cowboys home and for the first time in five College World Series appearances there was a feeling the ball club had performed to less than its capabilities. 85 was the beginning of pressure. Uh, we lost a lot of talent in, uh, in 84. In 85 uh, we're rebuilding uh, yet people are expecting us to do the same things and as coaches we're getting to feel that that uh, little panic back there that says geez I gotta work harder do more 
Uh, it's expected now. It's a responsibility rather than uh, feeling the elation of accomplishment. It's expected. Uh, you got to win the Big Eight, win a regional coach, just how far can you go at Omaha? And, and if we don't finish uh, third or fifth, then uh, we've got a lousy year. And so the evaluation of others from the outside was adding great pressure to it, and we were beginning to feel that.